another episode today we are pursuing big channel cats which will be in a little bit but for right now we're gonna throw crankbaits on the way to our catfish spot and hope to get a bass or whatever anything whatever hits the crankbait just going along the bank and slowly moving down just working the bank line just to give a little variety to it we're not going to do limb lines today just bait fishing with a pole all right wilma's got a nice channel cat here guys okay bring him around to this side to the right because the poles are in the way bring bring him back here okay i'm sorry bring him over here bring him to my side the right side bring him back just don't reel no more do not reel anymore he's going to break your rod if you do just let him wear down a minute longer. Just hold on. Good job. Nice channel cat. I'll get him eventually. All right. Yeah, he's about he's about five six pounds, isn't he? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Well, I thought uh, I was wrong. All I can say I was wrong. Boy, their mouths are so strong, it's hard to get the hooks out without breaking them. Or bending them. This one's going to break. There we go. Okay. Now, why don't you take these? Or here, I'll hand you the fish. hold on a minute and then I'll zoom in on you let me get this net back out of my way I'm gonna keep the net back here in the back like this yeah perfect all right Wilma got about he's actually about seven pounds six or seven he's a decent channel cat my battery's gonna go dead in about two or three minutes I need you to hold him, hold him up one time uh, sideways yeah it's a nice channel hun he's big he's about 22, 23 inches. Right, try to keep him straight. It's like a banana. I guess put your hand right underneath its the fat part of its belly. Like he was just doing me yeah, at further up. Put your hand further up. There you go. Well, further up that way. Because it's going like this, the fish. It just, your hand just keeps sliding back that far every time try to put your hand underneath right behind the end of its head underneath behind its fins yes but with your other hand no whatever works all right nice channel cat guys this is our very first bowfin out of this lake. Even William said he's never caught one out of here. No, no it's a largemouth. Whoa! Oh my god! I knew it wasn't a catfish. I thought for sure that was a bowfin because it jumped. Oh my god, he completely inhaled that thing too. This is the biggest bass I've caught out of here. Without a doubt. He's a, he's a full three. It, the worm is so far down, I ain't going to be able to get it out. That's how big. It, oh, my God. He's almost four. He's three. Three full pounds. Oh, my God. In a foot of water. Well, you got your nice channel, and I got a nice bass. Here. <clears throat> That's a nice bass for, oh, my God. They always bite worms here, too. It's weird. But you go around the whole lake with a crankbait and not get a single thing. He, guys, he's at least... He's about 18 inches. Goodness. Nice large mouth. He put one hell of a fight up. So He fought so hard, I thought it was a bowfin. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. 
catch it any year for a while. We scared them. That's the biggest bass I've caught out of this lake. I'm going to weigh it just to see and measure it. I mean, weigh and measure it real quick. Let's see what it is. Are you done on this? Huh? Goodness. Are you done? Are you done? No. I'm going to say he's 18. Seventeen and a half. <laughs> that means he's probably three. Well, come on now. Exactly three pounds. Here, fill me a little bit more. I'm going to get one good picture like this. And one like that. Pretty decent. I'm happy I got something good. We each got one really nice fish. We didn't catch a lot today, guys. In fact, they're barely biting. We caught two fish since we've been here, and that's it. But they were both quality. I missed. Oh! Oh! Right when we was about to pull away, guys, I said, let's just go home early. Ooh, look how dark he is. Whoa, that's definitely up definitely a male channel cat caught him in one foot of water guys one foot yeah, you up. I, I know that is a that is a really dark male right there guys he is pitch black Goodness. I need you to hold this until I can get the fish out with the pliers. That's a beautiful channel there, guys. About four pounds. I thought it was a bluegill when I set the hook until I, I mean, until I set the hook. My goodness. What a hoss. Make sure he didn't splash water on the camera because he went pretty nuts. No, amazingly it didn't. Alright guys, this is about a four pound male channel cat. Not bad. We're happy to get something toward the end anyway. I caught that nice bass and in this channel. We got one nice channel. It was a three fish day, but everyone was nice. Actually, only about three pounds now that I picked him up. It's not, hor not horrible, but not big. About three pounds. You got to zoom, huh? Yeah. yeah. You did? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get him back in. Nice little fighter. <laughs> Dang, 
Hey, hey. <laughs> Or not. Definitely not a bullhead. <laughs> I can rule that out already without seeing it. <laughs> oh, it's funny that I even thought it was a bullhead. I can get him without the net. It's small. It's only about three pounds again. They bite like little bluegill, though. See what happened? They seem like bait stealers because they just peck at it. And then what you got to do is just go ahead and set the hook and try and it's catfish. Very strange. They're not biting aggressive. They just peck. They just steal it. They will rip you clean if you're not. Yeah, he's just a little baby. Two and a half maybe. At least we finally made a video anyway. Four nice fish today. He's not bad. Yeah, he's a full three. <sighs> Broke my hook. God. Completely broke it. Nice little female channel cat, about two and a half pounds, maybe three. Not horrible, but not big. Obviously the bite was just in the evening only. But yeah, those fish, they steal, they, it's like it's little, you think it's just a four inch bluegill when they bite. They don't bite like they do in June and September where they just pull the bobber straight under with no warning. These just go like this. They just barely nip at it. And you're like, what the heck? fish that bit real good was the bass. All the rest have just been picking. Not too bad. Nice little bluegill. About seven inches. And he peed all over me. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> Not a bad bluegill, guys. should fly back kind of because we got the wind pushing us a tiny bit it's helping us move it's like two or three mile an hour but that helped actually no the wind changed directions 